five kilos of oysters, yeah. lizards, going to the market, checking out all the stuff there. Negotiating the price right now. Over there. And yeah, so cooking with some my friends. Focus is here. Uh, we would have gone to the market, but early this morning we were busy, so we're coming here. I'm taking uh, Ken's word because he says it's very fresh, very clean. But take a look at this. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is, but some sort of clams, got crabs over here, some uh, grouper, but yeah, I don't know all these type of fish. Lobster. They're negotiating the price right now. Some more. Uh, these are the, I totally forgot the Vietnamese and the English, but this is what I used to get, not used to, but in up in a full book. Harvesting these, we got some, uh, no idea, but you guys just take a look. I don't know how well you guys can tell all this lobster. Look at this, so much lobster. <laughs> and, and also, uh, Al Poon, his, his little girl, like she's again between two and three years old. Like the other day, she's talking about how she wants Al Poon, Al Poon. So we're gonna get how oysters and then Al Poon, which is like a, a snail of some sort. Have you eaten this before? Not yet, but you want to try this today? Sure. Uh, so do you want do you want me to clean it? Yeah. No, no, no. They are the ones to clean it. Okay. So I guess we're gonna get some uh, half kilo, huh? lizards. Sure. <laughs> Mainly near the airport because okay. in there a lot of sand. That's why many people. So, uh, can, for one kilo of oysters, how much does it cost? This one is 650. So, 650,000 Vietnamese down for yeah, one yeah, kilo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get one, one kilo? No, half one thing. Okay, I was like, that's too much. Yeah, There's yeah, so no. much food. Yeah. yeah, I've had some lizards before, but I've never eaten this type of lizard. Uh, me too, but it's very famous in Cameron. <laughs> New lamb? Huh? New lamb? So five kilos? Yeah, five kilos. All right, five kilos of oysters. I don't know how well you guys can see, but Ken was just telling me this is a uh, cat ball because uh, the meat looks like beef, but there's a lot. I can't describe to you. Some of these things are, they're huge. So the fish back there, especially so, so big. Adding the water to it and then uh, wash the mm. fish. We're not getting this fish, you guys. This is, what is the thing that? Katam. Katam. Yeah, I think it's sturgeon. I could be totally wrong. But I know Vietnam, they have a lot of sturgeon eggs. A lot. And for that, one kilo was uh, 250,000 Vietnamese pounds. Wow. Interesting. You guys can see the, the color difference. So it took off a bunch of the scales. And, uh, those are the lizards that we have. He's uh, cleaning them up for us. I did offer to clean them, but uh, I think it would be faster if he did it. <laughs> what can we, we use this one for wash? Uh, how? <laughs> you that's that is that a pressure? That's a, a pressure, yeah. not pressure cooker. What is it? I don't, whatever. It shoots of high pressured water. I haven't seen somebody clean oysters with a, a pressure, not a pressure cooker. Whatever, the thing that shoots high pressure water from a machine. I'm back. Bop time. How? Oh, by hail. Yeah, so these will be prepared a few different ways. And then right behind me, uh, we got the fire going. Okay, look at the creation that I just did. So I'll keep you guys updated, but I, I do need to wash my hands. And then I'll see if the little girl wants to give me a high five. And uh, 
Can it was a bomboing and moke. So uh, for one kilo of the oysters, you guys, it was 40,000 Vietnamese down, which is a little bit less than $2. I don't know how much it costs back in the States anymore. It's been a very long time since I bought it, but. Uh, but I you think. know, in Saigon, it's one, one piece set is around two, uh, no, 20, 20, one piece set in Saigon. So, one house in Saigon. Like Mok Gong. Uh, Hai Chuk Nang. Okay. So, because where we are, there's, uh, it's a big seafood area because they collect a lot of the stuff from the ocean. Uh, if we were to go north to Nye Chang, which is about an hour or so from where I am right now, it's going to be more expensive. And even if we were to buy this in the early morning at the market, it's going, to, it's going to be cheaper than what we paid for. And if we were to go all the way south to Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City, uh, it's going to be even more expensive. So uh, I feel pretty fortunate right now because I love oysters and I'm able to have them for uh, quite cheap. And then uh, the cow over here. I don't know why, I really like these cows. Uh, I'm very hot and sweaty right now, but uh, it's just, it's cute. I'm like, yeah, too, you know? I, just, I, like, I like these cows. So maybe someday I'll have a pet cow. I still want to go on chow, but uh, I can't have one at the moment. Yeah. Uh, these are the lizards here right now. They're marinating. Um, I just smelled it and it actually smells quite nice. Generally speaking, finding lizards at a seafood market is not normal in Vietnam. And I just would point out that it's not normal for a lot of people to eat. The two moms here, the, the grandmas, when they saw it, they're like, ugh, they don't want to eat it. So I think it's just like maybe me and Khan and maybe, maybe his younger brother who actually just came up a couple days ago or his dad. So we'll find out who eats it, but I for sure will eat it. I've done a video in the past. If you guys haven't seen it already, it was uh, a like catch and cook like skinks. My slingshot, bang na. So yeah, let's get back to cooking. All right, the snails are done, pretty simple, but we'll probably have a dipping sauce. And then I think most of these are probably just for Ken's daughter. For me, they taste good, but uh, I prefer the oysters. No? Yeah, no. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna get one with a lot of. So, all right, so we're in the process of, of cooking and everything right now, but. Uh, Ken just had one, he says, very, very long. Mm. Very hot though. Mm. Mm. Because it's a little bit sweet, but not too much. And then with like the cheese and the egg, it, I, it's really nice. That's all I gotta say, it's, it's nice. It tastes really good. I'm gonna have one more though, so. We got a lot of oysters. But, back to cooking. <laughs> oh. I want to get them. Check 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 them. Okay, similar. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the, the alpum the snails. I've had this before, it's good. A little hot. No, no. No? No, no. Tup do. Nam phup sao? Tup tup do. But very good. Wow. But the oyster is so much better. Huh? The helm, the oyster, yeah. <laughs> so much better. As you guys can see right here, these are the lizards. Uh, Ken was telling me that these lizards are caught on a military base and the people that catch them are some of the people that are part of the military and then they sell them to the market. So uh, these are wild caught, free range, I guess you could say organic lizards. And this one is enough for 10 kilo how? <laughs> Yeah, 10 kilos for this. No, this, no, this one, half kilo. Yeah, yeah. Money, this can, 10 kilo. That's so expensive. But we try it. And uh, for you guys, we should have actually gotten maybe 10 kilos of oysters. We've been <laughs> eating them along the way. I thought five kilos would be like... Yeah. We needed a lot more than that. But this one is a bit, that's why. Yeah. One kilo is about 10 pieces. Uh, a bunch of the, the family just showed up, but we don't have enough food. I thought we would have too much food. This is Ong, uh, yeah. Ken's younger brother. 
Uh, if you guys watched my video before, uh, Ong, I, I talked about him a little bit, but uh, Taoding. Yeah. So, Ong has not yet tried the oysters that we cooked. Ong Kham. Good boy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, boy, awesome, good. <laughs> nah. All right. Here are the lizards, you guys. I don't know how well you can see them, but looking at them, you would have no idea they are lizards. Some parts are a little bit charred. Um, I think there's some like eggs right there, but it smells phenomenal. All right, so Ken is gonna try the lizard first. So, oh. Because again, the most expensive item that we have been to, just normal. Mm. So not good, not bad. Mm. All right, I gotta try this. So, alt. Because the thing is, when you're eating the lizards, or just in general, when you're eating lizards, you will eat the bones and just a lot of the body parts to it as well. Um, it's not like you're eating a chicken. They're a lot softer and you can just kind of chew through them, but. It's a very charred piece, so that doesn't count. Let me go with the tail. If you were to give this to somebody, they would have no idea it's a lizard. It does have a lot of resemblance to chicken. Um, I'm surprised because the meat, like, you know, it's a, it's a white meat, you probably can't see on the camera. It's a bit oily, but that might have been from the marinade. It's good, but it's not worth saljam <laughs> namuinge, which is very expensive, because I'd rather eat 20 kilos of oysters than half a kilo of lizards, but <laughs> it's good though. I do like it. Um, yeah, I'm a little disappointed, but definitely not worth the money. Like if you're eating lizards or even rat, like this would have even some carryover to eating rat if you like rat, but just, yeah, it's so-so. But we do have some raw oysters we're gonna try and then um, we do have some more food because Kant and I did not buy enough. <laughs> I thought it was enough. I, I was the one that said too, I thought it was enough food, but not enough food. I have some also to hail here, and then there's a, a cabbage salad over there. But with my chair, I have a limited amount of range to grab. All right, some raw oysters. Wasabi dipping sauce. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm scared. <laughs> a little too much wasabi. But it's raw oysters. I don't know how to describe it. It just tastes like raw oysters. Oh, you guys, uh, we, we got some more food. So here we got some tail, and then there's the egg over there, and then uh, some salad. But I probably won't be eating the salad and uh, um, some sausage over there. But my focus is here, and then eventually probably the tail. <laughs> Guys, I am terrible. I'm so sorry. I forgot to film the ending and eating more of the food there and trying different things. I don't know what happened. Oftentimes though, when I'm with a friend and cooking, we're also drinking. And when I drink, let's just say my filming and even my speech, it's not the best. So all the videos from Kanhua, Nye Chang, and Cameron, that little series is completely done. And for you guys at home who've been on my channel for a while, you're probably wondering where I'm at right now because this isn't my typical filming spot when I'm back at my house. That is because I moved. Yes, so the next video, I think after this one, I'll be filming a video about uh, my, my new house. I'm sitting on a hammock right now doing some work, but I'll show you guys pretty much everything and kind of a little bit what I've been up to throughout these videos. If you made it this far in the video, you guys, thank you so much if you wanna support me. Uh, these shoes right here, 
We've got four different styles. I'll put all the information in the description box and I'll also pin a comment. Uh, we ship international, not internationally, excuse me. We ship within Vietnam. So if you want to get some shoes or want to support me, um, you can check those out. If not, that's okay too. But for you guys, I hope you have a great day and uh, yeah, definitely get some oysters, try some lizards. And I'm so sorry about the ending. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I'm so sorry. But I'll see you guys next video at my house, giving you a tour of everything. And then Soupsick, who's somewhere around here trying to catch lizards. Anyhow, take care, you guys. Peace.